five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. It really was history in the making. The mission, the Apollo 11 launch happening 50 years ago today and not far from Florida's first coast. Not far at all. The world was watching and many of you may remember where you were that day. On your sides, Robert Bradfield takes a look back at the trip to the moon. And it really was a defining moment. And 50 years later, one of those astronauts who was eh, this close to the moon but didn't touch foot is talking about the risks, the reality, and the reward of being part of history. Apollo 11 was about exploration, about taking risks for great rewards. Without that risk, Apollo 11 astronaut Michael Collins says there would not have been much reward. The flight was a, a, a question of being under tension, worrying about what's coming next. Shaking off the nerves, Collins recalls the moment of liftoff, focused on the training that would get him and the others to the moon. Inside, uh, you're not worried about your power so much as you're worried about your steering. This week, NASA is celebrating Apollo 11's 50th anniversary trip and triumphant return to Earth. Collins spoke with the Kennedy Center's director about the task of landing on the moon. He never made it that far, remaining in orbit as Aldrin and Armstrong made their history-making steps. Wasn't I uh, the loneliest person in the whole lonely history of the whole lonely solar system when I was by myself in that lonely orbit? And the answer was no, I felt fine. He wasn't alone because the world was watching. Well, NASA is celebrating the Apollo 11 mission all this week, including a replay of the moonwalk on the actual 50th anniversary this Saturday. You can watch all of their programming on NASA TV, and we have you linked up at firstcoastnews.com. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side. Robert, thank you. And the coverage on the 50th anniversary of the launch of Apollo 11 continues tonight at 630.